G'day, I'm Nigel McGill. Today I'm going to be trying the Theo 1A Durga metal mouthpiece on tenor saxophone. Um, I'm really excited to try this mouthpiece actually. This is what Theo 1A call their sort of bright, um, one of their brighter mouthpieces, but still with a full and particularly contemporary sort of sound. So curious to try it out. You know, the first thing I love about these Theo 1A mouthpieces is they're just so beautifully presented. They, they come like this. I'll show you what it looks like inside actually. Inside the box, you get um, a little brochure here with some extra parts for the ligature. But check this out. In the box, uh, you get a couple of different screwdrivers which you can use for adjusting the ligature. Because they've got their own ligature system on these mouthpieces. But I really love this. Check this out. All the mouthpieces come with these little pouches. Now these are actually a really good idea because they, you could use them to store your mouthpiece in the case, help to protect it. They're really into protecting the mouthpieces as well because they come with um, the, this mouthpiece protector, which actually I think is a pretty good idea. Um, check that out though, what a beautiful looking mouthpiece. So the mouthpiece protector is a great idea. The idea is that you pop it in instead of your reed when you pack your mouthpiece away at the end of the gig and it protects the table of the mouthpiece and the tip, which is really, really important. So I'm gonna pop this on the saxophone, we'll have a listen and see what it sounds like. <laughs> You know, this Durga mouthpiece is, is really a wonderful piece. and I've been enjoying playing it for the last uh, little while. It's got a great focused sound, but it's not too focused. And that's something I really like about it. Because I think one of the dangers with a lot of, one of the dangers with a lot of metal mouthpieces is uh, getting too focused to sound and it ends up becoming too edgy. The nice thing about this mouthpiece, the Durga, and it is a size eight. I'm a fan of big mouthpieces, is it's got a, quite a fat, a fatness to the sound as well as having a focus. Um, Theo Wane, they, uh, he promotes his mouthpiece is great for rock and roll and uh, commercial music, pop, smooth jazz, that kind of thing, uh, and, and even jazz. And, uh, and I can see why, really. It'd be brilliant in a, uh, a horn section setting or uh, any of those commercial settings. I'll just have a bit of a play and let you sound, hear what it sounds like. It works well over the whole range for a start, and it, it blows really well. <laughs> I should say I'm using a Van Doren size two and a half blue box reeds uh, on this so two and a half Van Doren reed. I'm on a Dave Goodala gold um, brass nickel black nickel tenor, my go-to tenor I've had for a long, long time. So it's got a, quite a heavy dark sound this horn anyway. <laughs> The altissimo pops out quite nicely and I like the way you can go from low, really low up to really high without really feeling like you're struggling with the mouthpiece. It just, it just happens with this mouthpiece. It's great. <laughs> So a rock and roll sort of sound. You can definitely get a fat sound and a fat growly sound with this. It's really, really nice. Yeah. 
it's definitely a very expressive mouthpiece. It is quite bright, um, but it's not too narrow. It's got, it's still got a breadth to it, which is really, really nice. It allows you to um, be a lot more expressive with it, which is, is brilliant. I'm not sure how well it'd work in a classical setting, but I'm sure that's not what it's designed for. And even in a big band setting, you, you'd have to be careful to keep it quite dark. But it is a great mouthpiece. And I think if you're in a horn section too, this is going to be a fantastic mouthpiece for cutting through. Wow, that really is a lovely mouthpiece. I think particularly if you're playing in a commercial setting, playing pop or um, uh, funk music, or if you're in a horn section, then this is a good mouthpiece for you because you're going to get a lot of projection, but you also got a lot of body to the sound, which is a rare combination actually. I think it's, um, it's definitely a fantastic mouthpiece for that style of music. Um, one thing I did notice with the Theo 1A, which is a, a little bit unusual, is that you don't get a mouthpiece cover with these mouthpieces. I don't think you do with any of the Theo 1A mouthpieces. Personally, I'm a mouthpiece cover kind of guy, a reed cap, a mouthpiece cap. Uh, I've often got multiple horns set up on my clarinet as well. Got the caps on them so I can swap between without the reeds drying out. You can buy a Theo 1A mouthpiece cap. They're about $8 or about six pounds. Um, but it does come with this mouthpiece protector, which I think is a brilliant idea. And overall, it is a fantastically made, um, it's a piece of art really, it's a beautiful, beautiful looking mouthpiece. And I may have mentioned in another review that um, I can remember paying a lot of money for a mouthpiece years ago when I was living in Australia, ordered it in from America, and uh, it came wrapped in newspaper. And, you know, the mouthpiece was great, but I think presentation shows that they've actually put a lot of care into the craftsmanship of the mouthpiece as well. Uh, so you're getting the whole package with this. So that's the Theo 1A Durga, size 8 for tennis saxophone.